Tony's no ordinary flyer. These are models, but he flies real planes too. Tony lost both legs to a train in his teens, and last year convinced Nikki to take the giant leap. As she found out, Tony's never been one to take no for an answer. This is Dylan. I might have a disability, but it's not going to hold me back. There aren't any obstacles, and I suppose I, I personally live most of my life that way. Um, you know, so often people have told me what I couldn't do and what I shouldn't do, and, and you know, I've just chosen not to believe that. Well, this is the control here, and it's made by a company called Union Aviation in America, and um, it, it clamps over the rudder pedals, and these little hooks go underneath the heel of the rudder pedals, and you use it like a tiller, so it just rocks from side to side, so left and right rudder, and because it's hooked over the top and under the heel, you lift it up for the brakes. Tony's plan was to fly Dylan for a special day at Tony's home airport, Tauranga. We live in the perfect place being Tauranga here. We've got one of the best flight centres here with Phil, the guys that taught me to fly. We've got this magnificent museum here which has got um, military aircraft right through to microlights. But the weather looked iffy and Tony enlisted the help of Gisborne Air, who bundled Dylan first into a Cessna then needed something a bit more beefy. Yeah, see ya. Hi, Hi how you doing? Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> Dylan doesn't know it yet, but he and his mum have a full day of treats in store. First up, a look back at the history of flight in Tauranga's Aviation Museum, complete with its own jet fighter. Andrew, good to see you. Andrew, this is Dylan. Hey, Dylan, this is Andrew. Good. Andrew's the uh, the chairman of the of the museum, and Andrew, this is Dylan's mum, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. yeah. So uh, you're going to give us a bit of a tour around the place and sure thing, have a mate. quick look. Yeah. We're going to have a quiet wander about, shall we? Yeah. See what it's all about. Well, he, cool. Dylan's aviation mad. Aviation. Oh, mad. mate. He can probably tell you the registration number and who flew what airplane on what year. Oh, I don't think you need to be looking at this one, Dylan. I think you're a little bit young for that sort of picture. <laughs> all right. But well, we're going to have a look at this aeroplane here. Yeah. This, is, um, this is what they call an air coop. Okay. This particular aeroplane doesn't use rudder pedals. The rudder and the ailerons are connected together so that when you just fly with a normal yoke, it will actually rudder the aircraft as well. Oh, well this day is all about one member of the disabled before, community you know, supporting was, um, another. We reckon it should happen more often. Yeah, you know, it's, all these yeah. models, see they've got a lot of models around the place. I love models because you know, that's what I build at home. And, fly and I crashed them as well. <laughs> yeah. It's one thing about it, I, I crashed a, an aeroplane of mine once down the park and this guy came up to me and I had this all pack of like balsa wood and he looked across at me and he said, oh, it's a good thing you weren't in it. But this, on to business. Here, Today Dylan's heading for the cockpit of a 737-800. Well, almost. Right next door we've got the flight experience which is a 737-800 flight simulator which is the only one in the North Island that uh, is open to the public. I've flown in it several times and it's just like being in the aircraft. And I've been in several cockpits of aircraft before, 767, 747s, and this is just exactly like being in the cockpit. And the visual graphics in front of you are just spectacular. Today we're taking Dylan as close as possible to the sensation of actually flying. So this is a, uh, a 737-800 cockpit. The only people flying that in New Zealand is uh, Virgin Pacific. I'll give you an explanation for the cockpit as we go. So we've got an overhead panel here. So it's got controls like our fuel pumps, electrical generators, uh, hydraulic pumps and air conditioning. And then in front of you, we've got a primary flight display. Got airspeed there on the left. We've got the artificial horizon. And then altitude on the right. And we've got vertical speed. Feel what it's like Today, to Dylan and Harley are planning to burn six tons okay. of jet fuel. So and we complain about the price of petrol. There. Straight to Gisborne to start with, and then we'll fly around the coast, and okay. you can point out where you where you're living. We can buzz your house, Dylan. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. So a little bit more power again. That's good. A little bit further. A little bit further. A little bit further. A bit further. All right, and we forgot to put them back. Oh. All right, is that against you? Just missed the top of those yachts there, Harley. Yeah, we uh, we need to put Dylan back in his seat there. <laughs> okay, holding that control column back towards you, Dylan. Got to turn left, yep, just like a car. The 
roll that control column to the left. So Dylan's got this one down. It really is like flying the real thing. You got a flight simulator at home? Yeah, I've got a flight simulator. Good. Nothing yeah, quite matches what it. Phil and Tony have lined up next. A ride and a mashed chopper. What do you reckon, Dylan? That's good. <laughs> It's a little bit of a bittersweet experience. This is Dylan's first flight in a helicopter, but he knows that aviation rules, as they stand, won't allow him to be a pilot. Awesome, yeah, that's cool. Yeah? Yeah. How many times have you been in a helicopter before? Oh, this is my first time. Your first time too, isn't it, Leslie? Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. Yes. It's my first time as well, so all three of us are good. <laughs> <laughs> so ends a great day for Dylan. What's he done? I've been in a, um, well, Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Uh, um, Piper Seneca 2, uh, Bell 47 um, helicopter and the uh, um, Bane 737 simulator. All one of the best days so far, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. You don't get to do these things every day. It's all been very cool. So what's next on the list? I'd like to fly a um, jumbo jet. That would be cool. But... Uh, oh, just one more thing. Dylan's got to get back to Gisborne. That's good. Flaps 40, OK, we're configured for landing. Wings level, starting to lower the nose to come down. Who knows what technology might That's make fine. possible in the future, though? Centre line's looking good there, Dylan. Closing the throttles, lowering the nose slightly. And touch down. That's good. And reverse thrust. Well done. Well done. Thank well you. Awesome, well Dylan. Well done. Well done. Woohoo! Good on the captain. Yeah. We're down. Yeah. We're safe. <laughs> awesome. He's the man.